Um, yeah, I'm 17 and I really like to watch films. I used to watch quite a lot, but not as much recently. I am 38. I like watching films. I don't watch a huge number of films, but I do like watching them when I do. I'm 18 and, yeah, I like watching films. <laughs> I'm 18 years old and I do like watching films. I watch more at home just on like, Apple TV because it's easier, but I prefer to watch it in the cinema. Yeah. And I try, just because I prefer the atmosphere there, the snacks, the popcorn, and just, yeah, the general atmosphere. I, th I think a film's more interesting to watch with other people's reactions. Mm. Ooh, I watch more films at home, I must say. I tend to find I miss things at the cinema. I've got every intention of going. And then the films have stopped being shown when I want to go, so I tend to end up watching them at home or on flights, things like yeah. that. Usually at home, but I do prefer the cinema. Um, I prefer watching them in the, in the cinema, but I usually watch films at home. Um, um, yeah, so what do you think about horror films? Do you like to see them? Do you see them much? Oh yeah, I really like horror films. I think they like, I like the suspense and it's just more interesting than other films because it actually has like a proper plot to it and it actually has to have like a definite ending, unlike other films. Um, yeah. Well, um, do you like really, really scary ones? Just like scary movies? Um, I prefer one. I prefer more realistic, like not too scary. But I like when the plot could actually happen in real life. I think that makes it more scary because it makes you like. Could happen to you. I don't like the really over the top horror films like Human Centipede, which is unrealistic. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really like them. I, I don't really see them at the cinema, but I watch them a lot of them. Yeah. I like horror films that are like good horror films. They're good because they're films, as opposed to just being really scary. I don't really like really scary films because they scare me and I get pretty freaked out pretty easily. Yeah. But um, I like The Omen a lot. That's a, that's a good horror film. Um, yeah. No, I'm going to say no. <laughs> I don't watch a lot of horror films. I've seen things like um, Scream and that sort of thing a long time ago, but... Yeah. Any other examples, maybe? Scream, uh, Wolf Creek, um, is it called something like I know, I think I know what you did last summer, it's similar to Scream, that sort of thing, but I don't really like the feeling of fear. It's not. Mm -hmm. You know, tension and fear is not what I want to do when I'm relaxing watching a film, to be honest. Um, I think it's the feeling of tension, definitely, the feeling of, you know, empathising with the character who's experiencing some kind of tension, and also the knowledge you have as a viewer of something bad's about to happen and you know that and they don't on screen and you're like, mm. oh, don't go in there, don't go in there, and then obviously they get killed or whatever, so yeah, yeah that's what I think what makes them scary. Okay. Uh, no, I think that's perfect. All good? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. No problem. The bit where Macaglione dropped the plate, I was a big fan. <laughs> um, and I think the first, yeah, the first time you see like the figures, when they, um, yeah, when they're just like coming towards the house or something. Was it quite scary? I, I, I was pretty freaked out, I can't lie. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't expecting to be, because the other media stuff I've seen was like, I don't know. Yeah. Not, not obviously not you. I mean, like past year stuff. But yeah, no, I was, I was pretty freaked out. Serious stuff. Um, Do you have any uh, suggestions? Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> I knew, I knew enough to know. Were you intrigued? I, w I was actually intrigued. I wanted to know who these people were, where they came from, why are they terrorizing my good friends Artem and Kalyan. <laughs> Why? No, I, I was definitely intrigued. It was interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I liked. I liked it when you could just see kind of shadows of people and not really like the real person. Um, and I liked when you could just see people like walking on the road, mm -hmm. but not yeah, not like real yeah. close ups. Um, do you think it gave away a good amount to the audience? Would you think it should have expanded more or gave too much away? Um, I think it gave a good. I think it gave a good amount away, but the only thing I say is maybe it could have like at the start it could have kind of shown more about like who the characters were because like it didn't really explain why they were there. Yeah. Um, um, I found it really impressive with your trailer. Like at the end, I felt like a really like anticipated like pace built up. 
which is what you'd like typically find in a trailer. So I think that worked really well. Like it's quite hard to achieve. Do you think it gave away too much or too? Um, I think at times it was a bit too complex in the sense that it was a bit like who's who, what's going on, what's the plot. <laughs> but like, but saying that. You did keep the main focus with Artem and Kalyani, the two main characters, which is good because that's like what you need. Like quite a lot of trailers concentrate too much on spreading out equal weight with all the characters. I think that distracts from the main plot. So that was really good. Um, did you like the narrative graphics? Sorry. Did you like the narrative graphics, like when it would say like B this one? Oh yeah. Yeah, I like the autographics. Um, autographics. Yeah. Narrative. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I like the narrative. I think that's what added to the pace of the ending. And like that's again like what I expect to see in a trailer, so that was nice. Um, oh yeah. Would you go and see the full film? Um I think I would because you did leave quite a lot like you did leave quite a lot out in a good way in the sense that like you don't understand why this person's attacking them, how many people are attacking because like there's one person in the garden but then there's like five in their car park, so it's like how many, why, what's gonna happen? So yeah, that's good. Thanks.